A lot of us are looking at ways to make some extra income, ideally some semi-passive income as well. Well, I just spent the last five hours playing some paid phone games, so something that you can basically play at work, in the car, or just basically in your free time, is that one option to earn some extra money. Well, in this video, I wanna show you two apps collectively that I played for five hours, and I'm gonna tell you one I'm definitely not gonna recommend, and the other is still on the fence. Welcome to the channel, my name is Mike. This channel is dedicated to your success in this gig economy, the side hustle. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. And for the best accessories for any niche in this gig economy, check out my Amazon storefront, that linked down below. So some benchmarks, some important criteria before you and I jump into this. So I'm going to look at number one. What is it? What is this app? How does it work and how do you qualify? Number two, of course, well, how do you win, right? That's really the most important thing. How do you play as well? Number three, hey, how do I get paid? And number four, an overall verdict. So can you make extra money playing phone games in your free time? Let's find out option number one, coin pusher. So what is it? Well, it's basically what it sounds like. It's one of those coin pusher games. If you've been to the arcade or if you've been to an entertainment center, chances are you've seen a coin pusher. This is a free app and you need to be at least 16 years of age or older and a resident in the US, in Canada, excluding Quebec or the United Kingdom. So how to actually play? Again, it's pretty straightforward. It's basically what you'd see in an arcade or an entertainment center. So we're going to be credited with these coins, with tokens, and we're going to launch these tokens at different targets and different incentive areas on the map to hopefully push these dollar coins off the edge to win, theoretically, real money. So the amount of coins that you have to fire at this coin pusher is listed here in the top left. So we're simply gonna click the screen to launch these coins at, again, our different targets here, these little monsters rotating around this basically slot machine. There's different multipliers, there's different incentives, and if we do knock off the coins off the front of the machine specifically, the sides of the machine doesn't count, we can also hit this slot box to activate the above slot machine. And the slot machine has different bonuses, different jackpots, you can earn more coins, and the coins are not dollars, it's basically just redeemable points once you accumulate enough. And then really what we're looking for here are these dollar coins, those are the actual monetary amounts. Typically, they're gonna be either one penny or 10 cents. Now, there are some incentives listed on the right side of the app to theoretically help us earn more money faster. There's bonuses like building walls on either side of the pusher, because again, the only coins that count are the ones that are pushed off the front, not the sides. So we can see here with those walls up, we're getting all the coins pushed off the front of the machine here for either the points that are accumulated or those, again, the dollar coin amounts. And that is basically it. It's a pretty straightforward game. It's pretty mindless. We're just shooting these coins at the target and trying to get as many of those dollar coins as possible to get what exactly? What are the rules? What's the minimum payout threshold so we can actually get our money? So we want that money, obviously. So what are the actual odds of us getting any money? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here are the actual odds of this coin pusher game. But definitely more important than that, or the actual terms of service, that's where we're getting these odds from. But I wanna bring something to your attention in this same terms of service. That is this section E in participating in this game. Something very, very important to note here, if you're gonna play really any of these kind of games, and that's this term right here. This is a sweepstakes-based game. Now this is not legal advice as I am not an attorney, but let's turn our attention back to this terms of service. In reading that, this is officially a sweepstakes based game. In essence, that means the chances of you winning this game have already been determined. What I found, if I've played any phone game and I've played plenty of others that are similar to this, any kind of matching games where you match colored balls, what have you, any kind of Plinko game, any kind of a slot game, etc., or a coin pusher game like this. And if you see this term in the terms of service, again, sweepstakes based, it's really not skill based, it is entirely luck based. 
Now, what I've personally found, and let me know in the comments if you've seen the same, if you've played any kind of, again, Plinko game, matching game, slot game, or coin pusher game, is you'll find yourself just recharging, in essence, your ammo, whatever it is, coins, tokens, what have you, over and over again by watching a whole ton of ads. And it's not just a lot of ads, it's a lot, a whole lot of spammy ads. They're showing these other games, they're trying to get you to click, tap, sign up for all these other similar sweepstakes games, and they're showing these characters interacting with each other and always winning a whole lot of money. Okay, okay, let's accept the fact that it is a completely luck-based game. Well, someone, in theory, someone is gonna win. So how do you get paid if you do get lucky? Based on, again, the Terms of Service Section I on payouts, you need to reach at least a minimum of $100. Then you'll send the sponsor or the owner your email address and you'll be paid out in the short time span of 30 business days. And for taxes, should you earn over $600, like most of these apps in the gig economy, they will send you a 1099 form come tax time. So my overall verdict on the coin pusher and really every single luck-based sweepstakes game. Generally, these games are going to be a massive time suck. It's the illusion of hopefully winning by getting very, very close to the redeemable amount, in this case, $100 per game. But if it is truly sweepstakes-based, then you should either win or you're not gonna win at all. Doesn't really matter how much you recharge that quote unquote ammo. So keep that in mind. If you're playing a game that says it can pay out, but you're also seeing very spammy ads, I would look into the terms of service and find out is it a sweepstakes based game. Now let's look at option number two, Blackout Bingo. This is really one of the top choices as far as the phone games, that show you can actually earn money, but what is it? So this is another free app, kind of, and for this one, you need to be at least 18 years of age or older. Now for this one, going over the privacy policy, the terms of service, the licensing, I couldn't find anything as far as odds for the actual game, but let me explain why that might actually be a good thing. The big difference here, if we look at again, the official terms of service, is this game is classified as a skill-based game, not a sweepstakes-based game. And also looking into the terms of service, this game is powered by Big Run Studios based in San Francisco, California. And further, they're powered by Skills, a company also based in San Francisco. Skills is a company that quotes, connects players in fair, fun, and meaningful competition. Okay, so knowing that, does that mean that Blackout Bingo is more fair? Well, let's jump into some gameplay and explain how to actually win. So when it comes to Blackout Bingo, there's really two ways to play. You can play for free. Remember, I mentioned this is a free app, but kinda. The big thing with Blackout Bingo, if you actually want to win cash, you actually need to deposit cash. But I know, I know the reluctance to actually deposit real money into a mobile game, I get that but if it's any constellation, you can deposit as little as $10. But let's make sense of that. Where does that money go in the game? How to use it and how is that really required for you to win? So the premise of Blackout Bingo is very simple. It is literally just bingo. So you can play the practice mode for free and actually did that a handful of times before I even deposited any money. And the premise is simple. You're gonna go head to head with one player on one or more bingo cards. Now the pace is pretty fast and there are some power-ups to help you win. Now if you're playing the practice mode, the free version, you can still kind of win, but you're going to win experience points or tickets. Now those can be redeemed, but of course it's going to take you a while to accumulate enough. But the practice mode is pretty fun if you just want to kill time, but you're going to be doing the same exact thing, but on actual paid matches whenever you deposit cash. So after playing, I caught on to some trends here, some tips on how to actually win for actual cash. So going back to the money that you invest in the game, as little as $10, you can play different matches really based on different wagering amounts. Now I say wagering, technically this is not gambling on a legal front. 
as this is truly a skill-based, not an odds-based game. So let's say you play the basic level paid game. That's a buy-in of 60 cents. If you win, you get a dollar, obviously a net 40 cent win. There's different levels with a buy-in of $1.80, $3, really all the way up to a $120 buy-in. So I deposited $15 into the game and played some live one-on-one -on -one matches in both the $1 winnings threshold and $3 game winning thresholds. Let's see how a few of those went. Three, two, one, go. G59. I, 28. O, 74. B, 7. G, 52. N, 39. G, 46. N, 34. B, 11. G, 55. N, 38. B, 1. O, 65. N, 44. I, 24. B, 10. G, 51. N, 31. G, 58. O, 64. B, 14. O, 61. G, 47. I, 29. N, 45. N, 41. G, 54. B, 9. O, 71. G, 56. B, 13. I, 27. I, 21. O, 63. O, 62. G, 48. I, 17. B, 15. O, 68. N, 42. I, 18. B, 4. I, 26. O, 72. Okay, so my overall verdict of Blackout Bingo. Number one, highly addictive in a good, fun way. Again, that's playing for a couple of hours and a handful of actual paid matches. Again, on the $1 level and then the $3 payout levels. And just for clarity, not sponsored or affiliated with the companies behind this game in any way. That is Big Run Studios and Skills. Out of the two games that we're looking at today and really the handful of games that I've played in the last month, I honestly feel like this is the most trustworthy and the most safe to use. Number one, I like that both companies behind the game are in the US. Number two, that this is, again, theoretically, at least based on the terms of service here, a skills-based game, some actual skill behind it can help you win versus that sweepstakes-based game. And number three, I like that there are no ads. It adds to the credibility of the game and certainly, I mean, some ads would be okay, but certainly I don't see any of those outright scammy ads like the other game. And then going back to the money, because remember, I deposited $15 into this game. So right now that is down $10. My account has a little over $5 right now. Let's talk about that. Obviously, the first couple of matches that I did, I really didn't know the best practices. I didn't really catch on the trends or any skills behind it. And honestly, I messed up like a couple of times. That's like clicking the wrong button and not using my power ops and not claiming bingo before the time runs out. But really, when it comes to the numbers, I'm looking at my win-loss ratio as of late. And as I'm doing more and more matches and I'm finding best practices, I am seeing that ratio improve. Now, of course, there's no guarantee I'm gonna make a profit. There's no guarantee I'm actually gonna get into the black here. But number one, again, it's fun in an addictive kind of way. And I feel like a fair way. And the company skills here has other games under their umbrella as well. So I feel like I'm gonna check those out. Let me know if you wanna see those down below in the comments that are also skill-based games that can pay out. So that's really the only one that I recommend for now. Now keep in mind that yes, it's a skill-based game, 
but I don't want you to deposit more than you're willing to lose. Now, one good thing that I'm kind of jealous of is you can get an extra $20 on your first deposit using the affiliate link in the description. So let me know down below in the comments, these paid phone games, at least these sweepstakes based ones, I say absolutely no, but these skill based ones, have you tried them? Have you tried this blackout bingo or others? Let us know down below in the comments. And if you got value in this video, definitely drop me a like. And you can also click or tap the screen here for my most recent video, as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.